We're so close to 15. We're so close to 15. I'm so excited. Hey guys, welcome to Star Stable with Stacy. We're almost level 15. And we're almost going to unlock Golden Hills. And I'm so happy. I'm here with Frost Torch in Silverglade, wearing our lovely Western gear from the Lifetime set. He's got his hurricane gear on. And we're gonna chat with the councilman about some papers or something. Hopefully it's a little more interesting than it sounds. Hello there, splendid news. I've managed to find some money for the horse trailer. Ooh, that's right. We were organizing a horse trailer to Northlink, which is much needed. It was much needed a long time ago, but I'm glad we're getting it done now. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but in the end, I managed to scrape exactly the right amount together to buy the trailer. Lovely news, eh? A vehicle to pull the trailer? What would you be wanting with that? Oh, the trailer doesn't work without a vehicle to pull it. Hmm, sounds logical. Unfortunately, the budget is too tight to find any more money for anything else right now. Is there not anyone else you can ask? No? Well, the trailer is waiting by the racetrack in any case. Perhaps you'll come up with something. <laughs> Hold on, I think I have an idea. The last time I was up at Northlink, I met a friendly young intern who said he knew you. Maybe you could talk to him? He seemed to have at least half a brain, unlike some of the other Neanderthals up there. Talk to the intern, that's my suggestion. See you around. I Didn't he quit, though? <laughs> He, he quit. I don't think he's there anymore, so I don't know what help he's going to be. Well, I guess he's still there. Maybe he hasn't quit just yet. Hey, Nova, long time no see. You need a vehicle that can tow a horse trailer? You wonder if I can help you? Well, of course I can. We're friends. And compared with all you've done for me, this would be a drop in the ocean. I could borrow a bulldozer from the construction site that you can use. A bulldozer? I bet nobody will even notice it's gone. I think they might notice a whole bulldozer being gone. This will be so much fun. Hmm. The only problem is trying to drive the bulldozer off without anyone noticing. The laborers here don't seem to care much about anything, but if the intern suddenly drove off in a bulldozer, I think they might notice. See that old man up on the cliff? Mr. Bucket? Maybe he can help us. What do you think? You'll ride up and talk to him? Awesome. I'll be here in the meantime. He seems like a lot cooler dude now <laughs> that we're not um, hiding him in the Baroness's wine cellar. Oh, that's right. Invisible Mr. Bucket. There he is. Oh, there he is. Mm, hello to you. How are the plans progressing for the acquisition of an alternative means of transport to Northlink? A distraction? Ha! Huh. I have the perfect distraction right here. Yours truly is in fact one of Jorvik's foremost experts in bureaucratic business English, both in the areas of theoretical grammar and circular logic. <laughs> right now I'm putting the finishing touches on the final version of my epic masterpiece, Northlink's Infrastructural Capacity Displacement from a Perspective of Structural Capacity. Huh. <laughs> it's taking forever to finish because I, even I fall asleep after just five minutes of reading it. If you give this copy to the construction workers below, you'll have all the time in the world to do whatever you want. Thanks, Mr. Bucket. Hey, crew leader. I almost feel bad tricking him a little bit because we became good friends with him. Hello, can't you see we're working here? Hmm, read what? Do I have to? Haven't exactly got time for this kind of drivel. What? North Link's infrastructural capacity displacement from a, per from a perspective of structural capacity? What on earth are you talking about? Sounds important, though. Best give it a quick read. Hmm. Uh, North Link's infrastructural capacity displacement from a perspective of structural capacity? Let's have a look. Reading, reading, reading. Oh my days, I don't understand a single thing. Feels like I should keep reading, though. I feel so very small. And stupid and I need to start again from the beginning the project leader seems to be totally absorbed in the reading this is exactly the distraction you were looking for now the intern can definitely drive off with a bulldozer without anybody noticing go back to the intern and tell him <laughs> have fun reading that sir all right guy are you ready I feel bad he I don't know his name <laughs> How did it go? They're completely preoccupied with Mr. Bucket's essay? Fantastic. Excellent. This is going really smoothly. Wait here. Oh gosh, are we going to get hit? <laughs> I'll go get the bulldozer and drive it down to the racetrack. 
There it goes. <laughs> cool. So now the bulldozer is in place. I put everything together whilst I was down there. So now the horse trailer works perfectly. So that was that. Done. It's great to see you again, Nova. Run by and say hi sometime, okay? Have a go and see if the horse trailer is working. Oh, but stop by Mr. Bucket first. Seems like he wants something. I can see him waving from here. Off you go. See you soon. Oh, we got a jacket. Or maybe we have to talk to... We have to talk to Mr. Bucket first. I really like our Western gear outfit. I hope the intern gets a job over at the winery. Ah, oh, fantastic work, Nova. You've contributed to the completion of our project both within the allotted time frame and without exceeding budget by a single Jorvik shilling. Truly remarkable, I must say. With this new transport option now available, one may travel to Silverglade Village on a daily basis. Imagine that. The opportunity to re-engage in the bureaucratic work of our dear town hall truly fills me with joy and happiness. From the bottom of my heart, I want to express my sincere gratitude. Unfortunately, there was no space in the budget for this informal little project, but I can gladly give you one of my high visibility vests. Oh, a proper high vis vest is something that should be part of every citizen's wardrobe. Until next time, Nova. Did we really get a high vis vest? Oh, we did. Oh, that's so cool. Now we look like Mr. Bucket. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go check out this trailer. There it is! That's so awesome. It's time now to check in with Marley about the barrels, the broken barrels. It's setting up his barrel race. Yes, you are probably right. Right over to Conrad. He's good at fixing and making just about everything. I'm sure he could fix my barrels. Here are the broken barrels, Nova. Ride like the wind and come back as soon as you can. I'll read the rule book while you're gone to make sure we do this just right. Marley. He's so awesome. He wants to have the perfect rule official barrel race that I'm going to be very bad at. <laughs> Howdy, Conrad. Do you like my vest? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Fix the barrels. Not really my area, but for you, we'll take a look. But remember, I don't do anything halfway. We'll fix these right or not at all. If I'm making barrels, they will be the best barrels you've ever seen. The first thing we need is new wood. Wood that will last hundreds of years, not the cheap stuff these barrels were built with. The best wood for barrels is only found in one place in Jorvik, beside Baledale Lake. There is an ancient oak beside the lake, and under it you should be able to find some old fallen branches that should be strong as the mountains. That is what we will build our barrels with. The oak tree should be easy to find. It is the only one of its kind near Veildale Lake. Hmm. Is it lit up on our map? No. Alright, we'll just head to Veildale Lake then. Alright. We're here at Veildale Lake. <gasps> it's gotta be that tree. That's the only one that looks like that, right? Let's go take a look. Huh? Yes! Look, there's the wood! Oh, six. Okay, we can do that. We have the special Veildale Lake wood, Conrad. What else do you need? Great, Nova. This wood should make for the best barrels in Jorvik. Now I'll just cut them to the right length. The wood for the barrels is ready. Now we need more iron to make the bands around the barrels that hold the wood together. Go pick up some more iron ore from the Damascus mine. Borrow my pickaxe and bring back some ore from the rocks that I can use to forge the bands for the barrels. All right, off to the mine. Hey, we're pretty good apprentice blacksmiths, if I do say so myself. All right, how much iron do we need? Four, copy that. Ooh, it's conditions fulfilled. Here's your iron, Conrad. Good, Nova. Now I'll forge some bands for these barrels. It is going to take a while, but anything worth doing is worth doing right. These will be the best barrels in Jorvik, and we will come to fetch them tomorrow. I'm here at the Silverglade Equestrian Center, because the Baroness has a task for us. A request. I almost said request, quest, and task. All as one word. <laughs> it 
Do you guys ever do that? It came out really weird. <laughs> Good day to you, dear Nova. Do you think you'd be able to help me with a little task I can't really manage myself? You can. You're a true wonder. You see, I've long thought about organizing a horse trailer to transport folk to the- We're doing all these horse trailers now! I could have used them all a long time ago, Baroness. A long time ago. I've long thought about organizing a horse trailer to transport folk to the riding hall way down beneath the vines, but I've never been able to find a way to get it down there. The hill is far too steep to drive the trailer down, so one would think it was possible to come from the direction of Cape West Fishing Village. <laughs> But the bridge across from there is broken. But I had a little chat with my old friend Jacob Goldspur the other day, and he told me that there is a passage between the Forgotten Fields and the Riding Hall. Wonderful to hear, I said, and Jacob promised that he would run the transport over there as soon as it was delivered to Yalaheim. A few days ago, I was told that the shipment had been delivered, but still no sign of Jacob. I tried calling, but get no response. Do you think you could ride over to Jacob and see what happened? Thanks so much, Nova. It's lovely to know I have a friend like you that I can always rely on. You're welcome. Hello there, Jacob. Long time no see, my friend. <coughs> Hello, Nova. Um, no, he's got a cold. Uh, you're here for the Baroness's trailer, I guess. I'm so full of flu that I can't drive it today. I've barely been able to get out of bed for the past few days and don't feel like it's getting better anytime soon. But here I asked Jack for help and he promised he'd take care of it. Well, there's your problem. Jack is there. There, uh, James <laughs> of your life. If Jack's the best man for the job, um, well, sure, he's a little irresponsible sometimes, but he gave me his strongest assurance <coughs> that he wouldn't be any trouble. Plus, Jack's not even driving. I've hired an experienced driver to take care of it. All Jack has to do is mark out the passage for the trailer to take between Forgotten Fields and the Riding Hall. He's waiting down by the harbor, so ride down and talk to him. Have a lovely day, Nova, and good luck. Feel better, Jacob. Do you like my do you like my vest? <gasps> there he is. What are you doing here? In the Oh, it looks stuck. Hey, hey, girly, I was just about to drive this old banger to the riding hall. Want to come with? We could try to break the record for driving along all those crazy roads. Ooh, sounds like fun. <laughs> this is going to be more fun than Mr. Fun's fun party with extra fun and fun on top. Driving on all those crazy roads is going to be a challenge. The driver? No, I sent him home. Something as fun as this is something I want to do myself. <laughs> Take it easy. I've got this. Trust me, Nova. Trust me. Right? I'm off. I'll see you at the riding hall. Wait, I wanted to go with. <laughs> it's probably best you follow Jack and make sure he gets there safely. Is this a race? Full speed to the riding hall. Um. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh! Oh, it looks like something's falling out of the trailer. Where? Oh. According to my map, I missed it. It's orange, like my vest. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hold on. Looks like a pole. Oh, oh, a flag. A flag. Okay. There he is. Jack. Hey there. Nice work on picking up those flags. They're apparently supposed to be stuck up along some path or something. Must be something up with the trailer door if they're just falling out like that. Hmm, if I checked whether the door was closed before I set off? Nah, I haven't got time for checking that kind of boring junk. If you want to keep control of that kind of thing, you should hire a professional. Dear old dad should have thought about that before he started out on this whole project. Hey, besides, I think there's something wonky with this map. There's no riding hall on here. Oh, now I get it. I had the map upside down. Lucky I'm so clever. Someone should really tell the map company to print their stuff the right way up next time. Try and keep up. I'm a pretty sharp driver. And even on these tricky roads, I'm a total pro. Gonna pick up some speed over this old hill. Probably best you follow Jack to see where he ends up this time. Where you going, buddy? How do you fit the trailer through here? It's a real tight squeeze. 
Oh my gosh, I'm surprised he didn't fall off the cliff. It's so tiny. Oh, he went this way. What are you doing over here, buddy? Wait. Oh, I missed it. How can someone create such useless maps? Now I'm just going to follow my gut instead. That always works out fine. Where should I be going, Nova? You're pointing towards Forgotten Fields? That way? Okay, nice. Now I'm going to do something I've wanted to do for a long time. So cool. You're going to see something pretty awesome now, Nova. I'm going to jump the whole gap between here and Forgotten Fields. <laughs> what do you mean, not sure? Use the bridge. <sighs> You're so boring. But yeah, whatever, Grandma. Still going to put my foot down, though. Faster than a speeding bullet. See you whenever, slow coach. Probably be best if you follow Jack to see where he ends up this time. We're getting a little closer. One more flag. There he is. Look, next time you guys need to give me much clearer directions. They were totally wrong. There's no riding hall here. Where in the world is this? Yeah, yeah. Don't stand here all ashamed, Nova. Guess we're off home now then, eh? We're never going to find this riding hall. What? Can you see it from here? Yeah, look! <laughs> Amazing! Now it's on. I'm gonna jump the trailer over the water, in through the window of the riding hall, pull a sweet skid and bring it to a stop right between the obstacles. What? Not a good idea? Meh. Can't even cope with how boring you are right now. See you at the riding hall, Grandma. <laughs> he is pretty entertaining. See ya! Where's our last flag? There it is. There's Jack. What's this? A whole bunch of water and no ramp to jump over it with? What even is this? How are you supposed to get over this water at all? Yo, this must be the place Dad was talking about. He mumbled on about some kind of path I should drive along, but it didn't sound all that important, so I just cranked the volume up on my J-Pod. So, I didn't have to listen. But listen, Nova, take these flags from the trailer and mark out the passage so I can drive over to the riding hall. Seriously, I'm starting to get really bored with this old heap of junk. Shouldn't we just head back to Jarlheim and play video games instead? No? Okay then. But this is the last thing I'm doing with this trailer. Anything else, you can do yourself. I've got crazy important mayor stuff to take care of. <laughs> crazy important mayor stuff. Oh, okay, flag. Use item flag. Fun green flags. Done. Let's let's hope he can manage this. So now there's a couple of flags here to point out where you can cross the water. I have to say a massive ramp that you could jump over would have been so much cooler. Maybe I should build one instead. I am the mayor after all. Now I'm going to smash the world's super speed record. See you by the riding hall, you big fool. <laughs> I'm not a fool. There he goes. Ah, there he is. We made it. Boom. Trailer delivered. <laughs> nice. This job's getting really boring. Now I'm back home to Yarlheim, Nova. Tons of mega important things to do. Want to come back and play video games with me? No? Fine. So, we're all done with this whole trailer baloney, are we? Let that dodger, doddering old baroness know that the trailer's in place now. Should make the old lizard happy, the old lizard! Man, maybe the beach guy was right talking about lizard people. <laughs> Shibby. I guess you can have a go and see if it's even working. Send her greetings from me, Jack Goldspur. History's coolest mayor. Now I'm off back to Yarlheim. See you around, Nova. Oh, we will head there. We're going to use the trailer to go. Baroness, the trailer has arrived. Good day to you, dear Nova. The trailer is in place. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't any trouble. This will be appreciated so much by all of the riders here in Silverglade. That I can be sure of. As a thank you for your help, I hope you'll accept this little gift. Again, so very many thanks for your help. Until next time, dear Nova. Ooh, some pants. Do they match my... Orange top? No. But they have stats that the Western gear does not. But that's okay, because I like how we look. <laughs>
thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I know many of you are out of school now, and if you're not, you will be soon. So I expect to see a lot of you in game and commenting on my videos. It's fun to talk to you. Alyssa Sweet Street. That's a pretty awesome name, so I had to say the whole thing. Sweet Street is training her Icelandic honey princess, who's now level 10. She's made it a goal to max all 10 of her horses before buying another one. That's a pretty awesome goal. A lot of people ask a good way to save star coins. That's a pretty good way to save star coins, especially if you're a star rider and you're not buying any horses. You're just going to accumulate star coins while you're training your other ones. So good luck, Alyssa. Can't wait till Honey Princess is 15. Peace Smile Act is going through something I know many of you have to, is waiting to get your horses three weeks from now. She'll be able to get her Bay Jorvik pony. So I know it can be a struggle waiting, but three weeks is so close and then you'll have it for the whole summer. She's going to name the pony Apple Pepper. I love that name, that's so cute. You guys come up with awesome names. I also read one today, I think it was Ice Mint, something like that, and I just loved it. It was short, it was simple, it sounded really cool. So let me know what you guys are up to, what personal goals you have set for yourself in Star Stable, and tell me about the horses you're buying. I'll see you next time. Bye.